back to Tom's life. Today's Sunday special is peanut butter blondie. So the ingredients you need is self raisin flour, margarine, caster sugar, eggs, peanut butter, filling of extract, baking powder. So the first step we go to wait the first step we go to weigh out all our ingredients and going to start off with the margarine. So first step you're going to weigh your margarine. You're going to need 150 grams. I'm using my talking scales. You're going to take it out. Because you, you're going to chop it down the middle. And then you're going to place some back in. And you keep waiting until you get to 150. Might be a bit messy. That will do. So once you've got 150 grams of margarine, you're going to get a big bowl. You're going to place all that in. Then you do the same with your caster sugar and then you'll cream these together. Next step, you need to weigh out 150 grams of caster sugar. I'm using my talking scales. You put some in and then you might have to take some out. You add in a little bit more till you get to 150 and then you cream these with your margarine. It is 158 grams. You're just going to take a tiny little bit out. That will do. So once you've got 150 grams of caster sugar, you're going to get your bowl with your margarine and you're going to shake all that in and give it a good tap. So you've got it all out and then you'll cream this after you weighed out your self raisin flour. So next step, you're weighing out 150 grams of self raisin flour. I'm using my talking scales. So you're just placing some in till you get the 150. So you just need 150. It is 92 grams. Just a little bit more. It is 113 grams. It is 116 grams. It is 
spot on. Once you've got 150 grams or so freezing flour, you're going to get the bowl, you place it in and you give it a good tap. Now you want to get a teaspoon of baking powder and you want to place that in with your self raising flour and you want to give that all a good stir this will be your dry ingredients and in a minute you'll crack three eggs to start off with and put a little drop of filling it in, into your eggs that will be your wet ingredients for your peanut butter blondie cake so next step you're going to crack three eggs you're going to give it a little a little top you break it down the middle and you're dropping it in catching any of the shell i show you again so you first crack it down the middle then break it in half and drop it in you do your final egg and then you'll give it a little whisk like that now you want to start whisking all your eggs together nicely Give this a minute or two till they have been finally welled in and then you add a little drop of filling extract to give flavour to your eggs and this will be your wet ingredients for your cake and then we will start creaming the sugar and margarine together so you're now going to get your filling extract and you just want to put a tiny little drop in so the loads doesn't go in you put your finger over the top so you can just put a tiny splash in that will be enough and then with your fork you give this another whisk Now you want to start creaming your margarine and sugar together till it goes nice and peak. So what you want to do is you want to get a wooden spoon and you want to start giving it a good stir until they have started to bind and go into a nice cream texture. You can always use a lucky whisk if you don't want to use a wooden spoon. It will just, it will just take a minute or two. So you just want to give them a good bind in together. You give your butter a chop into your caster sugar and then you cream them nicely together. So you're going to start adding in all your wet ingredients first, your eggs and filling it to loosen your margarine and sugar. like that so you started to loosen this a little bit you want to get your self raising flour and baking powder you place all that in and then you're going to give that a good stir so it's all binding well you can always use another egg if you need to just give a little tap just try and give it a little bit of a tap off your wooden spoon if it sticks but just be careful it doesn't splash you you've always got some spare eggs if you need or add one more and that will be four eggs like I always say you can always add but you can't take out so you want to give it a good stir in well now you want to add in a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter into your cake batter and then with your wooden spoon 
you want to give this a good stir in well so it breaks down it will give flavour for your cake just give it a good stir in well Then we're going to place this in a tray, preheat the oven and let it cook. So next step you're going to switch your oven on. Using my bump on to tell me which one is the oven. And you want to set this at 180 degrees. So as you can see, I have preheated at 180 degrees. Now you're going to get a, a small, tra small tray and you're going to get some parchment paper and you'll put down the bottom. So your peanut butter, your peanut butter cake will not stick. You now want to get all your peanut butter blondie butter out. You're going to use a spatula to get it all out, get all the way around the bowl and then you'll smooth this out into a nice thin layer and then you, pl you place it in the oven to cook so you're just getting all your peanut butter blondie butter out getting all the way around the sides and then you'll spread it out with your spatula So next step, you're going to put your peanut butter blondie cake in the oven. You want to put it in the middle shelf. You want to close the door and let your peanut butter blondie cake cook for 15 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it till it has rised and cooked all the way through the middle. So this is how you make my peanut butter blondie cake. I hope you like this. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe and thank you.